guys, me Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a beautiful start to your day. I am here today to do the What I Eat in a Day video. Now this is an embellished What I Eat in a Day video in the sense that I shot this video over the course of a couple of days. All the recipes and all the meals that you're going to see in this video are typical meals that I will eat during the work week. Now I try to be very healthy during the week and on the weekend I tend to cheat a little bit. So if you have any other questions or concerns, just ask them in the comments below. And without further ado, we're going to move right into this video. So whether it is a weekday or a weekend, I always try to start my day off pretty much the same and that is with a cup of hot decaffeinated green tea. I have to have the decaffeinated kind because caffeine gives me really bad anxiety. So I just make myself a cup of hot green tea and then I sweeten it with a little bit of honey. Along with my cup of tea, each morning I like to fill up a large tumbler glass filled with water and then I take a lemon, cut it in half and squeeze the juice of the lemon right into the water. Lemon is really great for your digestive system and water is great for overall health. I've been trying to drink a lot more water lately. It's really awesome for your hair, skin and nails as well. Now on to breakfast. One of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite things to eat in the morning is avocado toast. I just take two slices of multi-grain bread, throw it in the toaster oven, and then grab an avocado and slice it in half. I take one of the halves and put it into a plastic bag and put it back in the refrigerator for the next day. And then I use the other half for my meal. What I'm going to do is just take one of the halves, I put a couple of slices in between, cut up some like little boxes if you want to call it that, and then I take a fork and I just smash it down so I have smashed avocados. Once the toast is done, I take my avocado and I just spread it out evenly on both of the pieces of toast. And finally, I just season with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, and there you go. It is so good. It's very filling as well, and it's seriously just so delicious. I could eat this every single day. Along with my avocado toast, I also like to make myself a smoothie shake in the morning. This is my go-to smoothie shake, my quote-unquote Elvis smoothie shake. I've mentioned this in several of my videos, but it is just my absolute favorite. To make it, I take one and a half frozen bananas, a scoop of chunky peanut butter, two tablespoons or two teaspoons of Greek yogurt. I use the vanilla kind. I use just a pour of dark chocolate almond milk, which is delicious. And then I do one tablespoon of chia seeds. I blend it all up and there you go. I cannot stress this enough, this tastes exactly like a chocolate milkshake and it is also pretty darn healthy for you as well. Now this may seem like a pretty large breakfast for some, it also may seem like a pretty small breakfast to others. This is a pretty big breakfast for me personally, but as a teacher I usually eat breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning and then I don't get to have lunch until my students have lunch at 12 o'clock, so it's usually about 5 hours that I go without eating, so this breakfast just really holds me over until I get to eat lunch. A snack that I always like to bring with me to work is some fresh fruit. Now if my students have break in the morning, I eat this during my break, and if they have break in the afternoon, I just eat this with lunch. This is from my local grocery store, and my grocery store has been making these fresh fruit containers each and every day. Every single week they do a different amount of fruit, and this week they did some fresh grapes, strawberries, pineapples, and some cheese cubes. For 
lunch, I usually like to bring a salad to work, and my local grocery store also has this kale superfood salad that is to die for. One of my coworkers recommended this to me, and I've been obsessed with it ever since. If you don't have this at your local grocery store, you can always just make it. It is very, very easy. It's just kale, blueberries, dried cranberries, walnuts, carrots, red onions, sunflower seeds, and it's topped with, I believe, a raspberry vinaigrette. I'm not kidding you, the flavor combination of this salad is out of this world. Seriously, so, so good. I usually just put this in a to-go container and then I top it off with a couple of slices of roasted turkey breast. For dinner, I like to try out some fun and healthy recipes that I find on the internet. I actually saw this one trending all over the internet and it is for a vegan fettuccine alfredo. I love fettuccine alfredo, but of course it is not the healthiest, so I gave this one a shot. I just took some broccoli, cut it up, and then I put it in a pan to boil. And then I am taking some healthy all grain fettuccine pasta. I'm actually not even using fettuccine, I am using the linguine pasta. And I'm also just putting that in a pot to boil. While the pasta was boiling, I started to work on the Alfredo sauce, and for this Alfredo sauce, you need one cup of soaked cashews. I soaked mine for about an hour prior to making my sauce. I drain them out, and then I'm just throwing them into my Nutribullet mixer. If you don't have a Nutribullet, you can use any blender. The cashews will be really soft at this point, which means they're going to blend very, very easily. After I put the cashews into my Nutribullet, I also did a half a cup of almond milk. I'm just using unsweetened almond milk. Then you want to go in with some nutritional yeast. This is going to give it that cheesy flavor. I found this in the organic section of my local grocery store. And you want to take three scoops of this and throw it into your Nutribullet as well. Next up, you want to take the juice of half of a lemon. Take half of a lemon and just squeeze all that juice right into Nutribullet. And then you're going to go in with whatever seasonings you want. I chose half of a teaspoon of some garlic powder, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. Finally, once your pasta is done cooking, you're going to take a fourth of a cup of the pasta water and throw that in the mix as well. Blend it on up and there you go. You have your fettuccine alfredo sauce. Once you reach a smooth consistency, just pour it straight over the hot noodles and you are done. I have to say this was really, really good. I had my doubts. I was very skeptical of it at first, but it ended up being really creamy and really, really delicious. If you go into this thinking that it's going to taste exactly like fettuccine alfredo, you are going to be a little disappointed. But if you go into this thinking, hey, you're gonna try to make a mock fettuccine alfredo recipe, that is very healthy for you, I think you'll be very, very impressed. I will definitely be making this again in the near future, for sure. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any healthy, fun recipes that you love, please link them in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys!